Three, taking decisions. The decision-taking process usually follows the majority rule, which sees the selection of the ideas or decisions, which are supported by the majority of members. That is to say, more than half of them. This method is surely useful and quick, but runs the risk of leaving aside a significant proportion of members, or that consensus is only apparent. Another decision-taking method usually is the bottleneck, and it's understood as a step-by-step -step process, in which one gets rid of ideas or decisions left behind. Eventually, we have the method based on reason choices, which can guarantee better quality decisions. Based on a collection of qualitative and quantitative data, the method follows this process. First, the decision's goal is set, and then alternative solutions are put forth, and then priorities are organized in relation to the goal. Alternative solutions must not collide with each other, but need to be faced only with the decision's goal. The solution is therefore progressively built in light of data collected so as to take the best decision. 4. Time planning Time planning serves to highlight the hurdles or the limits to achieving a goal set. Time is unfortunately the only resource that once used cannot be replenished. For instance, an unsuccessful meeting cannot be recovered as you can't go back in time. Therefore, it's highly important not to waste time in any case in order to avoid unaccomplished duties. It seems necessary to arrange a schedule for an activity, for example for meetings, so as to mark common time successfully. Concerning team meetings, the central phases are becoming acquainted with the people or with the issues to be addressed, definition of task and meeting scope, this answers the question, why are we here? Taking decisions, here suggestions and ideas are collected and classified so as to take the rightful decision. Concluding the meeting, it means allocating the resulting tasks, giving time frames and roles and deciding upon the next meeting. Generally speaking, time planning activity can be seen as a drafting of a work agenda. This means drafting a logical plan of actions and times aimed at achieving a specific goal. It's all about timely matching goals with the activities as well as setting deadlines. Outlining such a working agenda helps establishing a contract among members related to time and objectives. 5. Use of problem-solving tools The increasing use of working groups aimed at solving problems, at planning production and organization, and for the innovation of processes and products, has shed a light on the need to provide working teams with simple tools, easy to learn, but useful for research and problem-solving issues. These tools allow teams to produce great results by decreasing the worries caused by the completion of tasks and reducing it to a quantifiable and real dimension. Problem-solving tools also help members get an insight on conflict management process as they help comparing data possessed by the team and their interpretation. In this respect, we can point out that a method for problem solving is the first methodological issue for a working team. We can differentiate between a deduction problem solving path, which is understood as a linear, step by step sequential path based on data collection and its verification in order to find solutions, and an induction problem solving path, which is based on hypotheses and assumptions of possible solutions that has to be subsequently verified and validated case by case. Within a working team, deductive and inductive problem-solving methodologies usually merge with all the different varieties and hints. Analysis, assumption, solution and verification are the basic steps of the problem-solving process and are obviously necessary to solve troubles, but have to stick to determined criteria, keeping in mind all points of view regarding the problem. It is, in moreover, important to scheme data and information from opinions. Eventually, it's important to look for the cause of determined events rather than the person to blame for them. To sum it up, we can state that it's fundamental to attentively define method and tools 
to work smoothly and properly by keeping in mind the working path to develop and to guide the members' individual commitment and contribution in order to ameliorate the resources of each team member. Each team, therefore, has to develop its own working methodology in order to be successful.